there, friendly neighbors, and welcome back to my channel. What is it, Luna? Do you need to constantly be making trouble? Yeah, Nova. I got my two old ladies. I love you both dearly. I'm once again on floor ferret proofing. You're probably familiar with these two bookshelves. They're in the background of a lot of my videos. I don't try and hide them. They're where I keep my manga. Because I'm one of those people. I've been having a problem with these bookshelves lately though, and I think it's time that I fix it. Don't, they, don't these look lovely right now? Don't these look absolutely spectacular? The problem is that normally they don't look like this. Normally, because of the lovely help of my ferrets, they look a little more like this. This is what it normally looks like. Yeah, Luna, that's your fault. You do this to me. And quite frankly, I'm tired of it. Yes, this belongs right here. Can you stop? Never. The bottom shelf of the bookshelf becomes the ferret's zone. I talked about this in my last video. Because ferrets like knock things off. But that doesn't mean we can't do things to try and prevent them from doing this. In most of my previous homes, that meant taking a piece of duct tape and just duct taping across it. But I don't really want to live that life anymore because I'm constantly at this stuff. This is my litter box and then my litter locker where I put the dirty litter. And I am constantly needing fabric off my shelf. So it's just a pain to have a piece of duct tape across it. I just don't want to do that. So I thought of a, a bigger brain plan because you know, I'm kind of smart like that. Luna. Yes. Hey Luna. What? Can we not be in the tube right now? I am having fun. Hey! Hello? I know you're in there. You are so loud. Thank you, I try. So today we're fixing this, is what I'm trying to say. My plan is to take this piece of wood, which I will be cutting, which means I get to use the saw again. Very excited about that. And I'm gonna be doing something sort of similar to what I did in the other video where I made a door, except I'm not gonna make a door, so it's actually not gonna be like that at all. Instead of having a piece of duct tape going across this bookshelf, I'm gonna have this piece of wood, and I'm gonna attach it with a hinge and then a lock, and then I'm just gonna be able to open it and close it whenever I need to access what's what's there. I actually had the idea to do this in the other video. I was gonna do the cozy corner and I was gonna do these bookshelves, but I ran into a problem that I didn't know how to fix. There's the piece of wood I cut and painted because I got to that point. The box where I put their litter juts out a little bit, so I wouldn't be able to close this, which, which is a problem. And I, I saw that and I just thought, well, I guess my dreams are impossible. Look, she's demonstrating what she does. Mandy, it's been there for literally 35 seconds. And it won't be here for 36. All I need to do is I need to take this piece of wood and just put like a little other piece of wood on each side so that it juts out more and, and, then, and then it'll work. Perhaps not the most entertaining video, but I'm using a saw and I think that that's always fun so you guys get to stick around and see if that ends terribly or if it ends well. And I get to use a drill again. Good news for me, terrible news for everyone else in the world. Do not forget, it is the beginning of the month today. What day is it when I'm posting this video? It's gonna be Sunday. Oh my goodness, it's the first, which means that I would have just posted my business boxes on my Etsy store. Go check out my Etsy store. The theme this month is Ferret Cafe, and holy heck, my dude, do you ever get a cafe in a box? So go check those out on my Etsy store if you wanna buy yourself a ferret mystery box. Supplies are limited, so make sure that you go buy one quickly before they sell out. Otherwise, you'll have to wait a whole month until next month when we have a brand new box with a brand new theme. I don't know about you guys, but I hate waiting. So hop over to Etsy, link's in the description below. Now that that's over with, I'm going to measure some wood and then I'm gonna go cut some wood and then I'm gonna go prime some wood and then I'm gonna go paint some wood and then we're gonna go drill some wood. So I went and did exactly that, and here I am expertly using that saw again. In the background, you can also see how smoky Alberta is right now because wildfires are raging in British Columbia again. They're kind of an annual thing. After I finished cutting everything, I sanded and then I painted the pieces. Also, I found this dead bee on the ground, which isn't important, but I wanted to share it anyway. And then when I was done that, I returned to my room, like the room hermit that I am. That took a lot longer than I thought it would because this paint that I chose to use took forever to dry. 
So I lost a bit of my steam, but we're just gonna keep moving forward. All right, so I've got everything cut. I have my two pieces of wood, and then I've got these little tiny pieces that I'm gonna use to make that part jut out. We're gonna be doing wood glue and nails for this part because I couldn't find any screws that fit uh, this piece of wood in my house because I didn't go buy screws for this video. I was operating purely on things I already have. And this is quick dry, which is the kind of life that I like to live. I have for 10 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Sure, sounds good. I don't need to read the instructions. I know what I'm doing. Wood glue goes in the wood. It's not really that complicated. Oh, is this gonna fit? Okay, apparently I need to get another clamp. Okay, I got some bigger clamps. These ones don't fit either! Okay, I got the, the big Papa ones, which I didn't want to use because they're really heavy, but when life refuses to give you lemons, you gotta make your own lemonade, I guess. All right, you do your thing for 10 minutes and then we'll nail you in. I should have probably nailed it before clamping it, but when my original plan was to use the small clamps, I was gonna nail around the clamps. And now I don't think that I can do that. I can't, I don't have the space. So I'll just nail it after. It'll be fine, probably, maybe, I hope. For now, we're gonna work on piece number two that doesn't need the little extender things because everything actually fits. I think I should attach the hook first. We're using the same hooks as we did on the other one. Hopefully I actually place these properly, um, but that's between me and God at this point, I guess. Okay, which side do I want it to open from? I think I wanna have them both open from the middle so they can like sort of open together. I think that's classy. It's like a double door entrance, except instead of a door, it's two pieces of wood on my bookshelf to stop my ferrets from knocking things off of it. So really it's nothing like a door at all. There we go. The first moving component has been done. Now we put a hinge on. There, look at that. Now we just have to put it on here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I did have a mark somewhere. Yeah, that looks about right. I can't wait to not wake up every morning and have to clean out my fabric. Let me just hold that real casual like. Okay, you stay there. You don't move, you hear me? It's an ab workout. It's in the abs. Well, there, we did it. This hinge is not very strong, so it kind of like droops. Most of the time it's gonna be hanging onto this here, so it doesn't matter that much. Is that straight? I don't have a level, nor am I gonna go get one. So, is that straight? I think it's worth noting I have the ferrets in their cage while I do this, okay? That's why there hasn't been much chaos besides the energy I've been putting out throughout this whole experience. Anyway, let's celebrate. Hey, look, I can open it. I mean, it, it's crooked, but you know, it's okay. Uh, now we do the other one. Let me rotate my camera again. I feel like it's been 10 minutes. Um, and I'm not gonna be using an actual hammer. We don't do that on this channel. I'm just gonna use this clamp. Oh, it's going in sideways. It went in. This one just does not want to go in. I don't know why. I'm using a flawless technique of beating it into submission with a clamp, and it's just not doing what I want it to. There, look how secured these are. These babies ain't going nowhere. Let's, uh, let's attach this. I'm just gonna like randomly drill this in because I don't think it matters where it goes. Sure. I've never been picky. I'm not gonna start now. Nice. Now where's the hinge? There. 
once again, it's a little loosey-goosey, but that's just because this is a cheap hinge. It's a cheap hinge. It's going to do what cheap hinges do, meaning squeak a lot. Here we are. I've got my, my very secure... Oops, that was an accident. I've got my two very secure ferret-proofed uh, uh, things. I don't know what to call these. Um, I want to put my stuff on it, and then I'm gonna get the ferrets out. And we're gonna just pray that it worked. Please, please say this worked. Please. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this gorgeous rainbow order as well. Mm. Um, I have two ferrets sitting here very eager to leave their cage, so I'm gonna just see how they react to this. You're the number one culprit for knocking uh, fabric off, so can you please uh, do your worst? Ha. Huh. No thanks, don't tell me what to do. If I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm gonna get a reaction from them until tonight when they are hyper. They're all asleep except for Andromeda, who's now going to poop in the corner over there. Um, well, I'm proud of the accomplishments we've made so far today. I'm very tired of you knocking my fabric off. I have, you have so many things to do, and why is it that you decide the fabric needs to be off of my shelf? Why is that what you decide? You know? Just go do something else with your time. Well, the medallion says that's dumb, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my Etsy page, just like I said at the beginning of the video, because we've got the new business boxes out. I will see you guys next week when I do something. I'm not quite sure what yet. I don't plan that far ahead. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! I have outsmarted you, Lyra. I am superior. That's right, you better run. Because I got a piece of wood on this bookshelf. You ain't got nothing on my piece of wood. This is my town. I run this town, Nova. I run this town.